Hey everybody, hope you're doing well out there. Welcome back to another episode. I forgot to film an intro for this episode, but you know, that's okay. Okay, so all we're doing is uh, fishing off a jetty. It's at Alco and Tide. Water temperature is around 60, 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just casting our lures off, letting it drift in the current, and jigging it back. And it was a pretty good morning of fishing. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy. I'm on. Yeah. I think it's a blue. Yeah. Dude, speak of the devil. That's so weird, you're just talking about him. Say goodbye to the tackle. This is the end of the outgoing tide. Water temperature is like 61 degrees Fahrenheit and just letting the paddle tail drop to the bottom, uh, let the current take it, and then just varying different retrieves. But I'll tell you what, I think the the bigger striped bass are almost always on the bottom. They're just hanging underneath the schools. Got something decent. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. There we go. Ah, super clean. No lice. Yeah, that's a lot, dude. That's game over. Look how close they're coming. They're beautiful. Nah, dude, they fucked it up, man. <laughs> they fucked it up. I'm out of here. You can feel it. Oh, I'm on. Oh, what the? F nice. Decent blue. Yeah. Heck yeah. I think we're going to be a little delayed in action. I don't know if you can see them, but there's dolphin literally right in front of me right now. There we go. I'm on. Fish on. Those dolphins got them right next to the structure. Feels like a bass on that purple, John. Yeah, nice little schooly bass on that purple. Pretty nice fish. On that purple, John. Wow, you see the way you got hooked? That's interesting. That purple John got him. Sweet. Let's see if there's some more. Later, bud. Hey, not a bad day now. 
Nice, on that uh, pink panther. That two-tone, wow, this fish is so clean, dude. That two-tone pink panther. All the fish are on two-tone today. Every fish I got was on two-tone. The Spro bucktails that I usually use are getting pretty expensive. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna try this Berkeley Fusion, it's called. And the water's a little mucked up, so I'm gonna go black. The Black Mullet Trailer by Berkeley Gulp. This is a Berkeley on Berkeley setup here. There we go, fish on. They're hiding behind a little breaker. Took me a minute to figure them out. I think this is a striper. Not sure what this is. It's got head shakes like a striper. Stuck in the rocks. Come on, bud. Yeah, striper. Nice. Decent one, too. Schooly. Schooly. On that black bucktail. Nice. Sweet. All right, bud. Ugh. The stripers are usually on the just on the outside of the rip. And that's where that striper was. They're waiting for all that bait to get sloshed out from the jetty and go under that whitewash and then they're sitting right on the edge of that rip ready to pounce. They're clever. They're willing to work for it, but not too hard. This is by Hoagie. It's called a charter grade slider. Probably hit this. There we go. Whoa. Got something serious on. Whoa. My GoPro's about to die. We got a serious fish on. On that hoagie. Oh my gosh. All right, I got that camera on. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but this fish is serious. On the hoagie. I just wanna know what it is. It's moving out now. It's got head shakes like a bass. So this fight went on for a while and this striped bass had full control of the current. I'm not sure if it was a post spawn or just very energetic ocean migrating bass, but this was by far the longest bass fight I've had. I thought about that while I was fighting the fish, but once I came back and looked at the footage and kind of timed it all out, it was a pretty long fight. And I'll tell you what, like kind of a disaster from a filming perspective. My front camera died. Uh, I rolled on the other secondary camera and then I had to walk out of frame to land the fish and then that battery died. I quickly put a fresh battery in the other one so I could get a quick picture. But honestly, like my brain was so scattered. Jeez. I couldn't even get a measurement <laughs> because I wanted to get the fish back in the water as soon as possible. It's just, uh, yeah, it's helpful to have friends around when you're landing really big fish like this. When you're by yourself on a jetty, it's, it's kind of a cluster, Ready? so. We landed it, everything was good, I got the memory, but from a filming perspective, I, I apologize. There she goes. Bye, sweetie. Yo! 